Hi, my name is Heather Turner. I want to show you how to self-bind with one of my custom Ben Kung belly binds. First, you're going to measure out the tail. You're going to take either end of the wrap and hold it up to the top of your forehead and right down to here. Some people hold this tail piece in their mouth with their teeth. I prefer to just tuck it into my shoulder like this. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go to the left, but it doesn't matter which side you go, as long as it's the same each time. So this first wrap is the most important and the toughest to do when you're self-binding. So it's okay if the fabric goes loose for just a minute while you're getting it around. You want to make sure that it's nice and wide around your hips. So we're ready to make the first knot. The first knot is the most important. You want to make sure that it's below your cervix. And the reason is that nice tight knot helps support your cervix, which in turn supports your uterus. So we're making the first knot. Bring your feet together and take a deep breath and wrap the tail around the long piece of fabric and just bring it up. and then go around again. So now you're kind of holding that knot in place. The fabric is gonna get twisted, but just work with it as best you can. Come around to the front again. As you make your second knot, tug down just a little bit like this and wrap the tail around the long wrap. and you just keep going. The goal is to have 10 to 12 knots. This is much easier to do if you're in front of a mirror so that you can keep your line of knots nice and straight. Once again, just coming around, making sure the fabric is nice and wide. Coming around to the front again, tugging down just a little bit, and wrapping it around. It's a really great idea if you have your wrap in a basket or a plastic bag, and you can just kind of kick it around you. Keeping it nice and tight. Coming around again. So it definitely takes practice. The more you try, the better it gets. If you find that as you're wrapping, this is too short, it's best to just start over again and remeasure, making sure that you're going from the top of your forehead right down to between your legs. So it should take less than 10 minutes. So remembering to tuck down and come around.
This is the violet color, by the way, if you were wondering. It's very pretty. Okay, this is my last time around. So as I come around, I bring it to the front and I make a square knot. A square knot is right over left, left over right, or any kind of knot. It doesn't have to be a square knot. And then you just want to tuck in the excess. It's important to make sure that you wear a camisole or a shirt under the bind for a couple of reasons. The first one so that you don't have to wash it but once a month. And the second reason is so it doesn't pinch on your skin. Thank you.